All right. Today is a beautiful day for science. Currently, we're looking at an ICME from region 36, uh, 3363 and from also to the southwest of the region. It's a very large ICME, a lot of plasma movement. The uh, ICME is pretty encompassing, and even though it does not appear to be as Earth-directed as it actually is, that is due to perspective being a uh, forward-viewing single perspective that we have. It's more difficult to see the plasma moving directly towards us than the plasma moving in all other directions. So as such, we do have an ICME that does appear to be uh, Earth projected. We do have a solar storm expectation of at least G1, most likely G2 levels. And this is due to uh, two things. One, there is a long duration of the storm occurrence. There's going to be an elongation of the storm as it expands, but the initial impact as well, increasing the solar wind speeds that we have, is going to cause sort of a ringing of the bell of the magnetosphere, causing a, an increase to the uh, geomagnetic activity on that basis as well. So, in that, we're assessing based upon this event occurred at 1915 UTC, 11 July 2023, very likely that we're going to see the uh, arrival of this solar storm, approximately 1400 UTC on 14 July 2023, plus or minus seven hours, uh, give or take, so uh, between that time frame, 0700, 2100, uh, we'll most likely see the arrival, and that's a... <laughs> 93 million mile journey approximately for the solar storm to reach Earth. So that is the update. Beautiful science, wonderful, exciting stuff, and hopefully we get some aurora. So there you go. Cheers and science on.